Hey guys, so last week on Instagram I posted a picture of this wallet and this is actually a project that I did last week just because I needed a cash envelope system It's just part of my budgeting system that I do. Um, I can talk more about that in a separate video but I wanted to show you the project because you guys had asked how exactly to make this. So this is basically just a really simple wallet that I have dividers in so I'll show you exactly how I made this along with the dividers but this is actually a project that you can turn into anything that you need like if you want to make covers for like your checkbook if you still use checks um, you can you know throw away this the old like this is actually just like the free one that the bank gives you you know but if you want to make like a really cute checkbook cover you can make one just like this so you don't need that thing right you could make passport covers so for your passport you can make journal covers or notepad covers so today we're going to make a really cool set of organizers that you're going to be able to use in your purse and once you know the one method you can change up the pattern and make all kinds of different you know organizers for your bag or even just for your vanity or anything else you can make you know makeup organizers or makeup pouches you're gonna be able to make business card holders you can make a license holder or for your cards all right guys so let's get started on our diy purse organizers all right guys, so here's what we're gonna be using for today's project. I have this cork fabric that I got on Etsy from a seller in Portugal. And if I can find the link to their shop, I will post it in the down bar. And then I'm also gonna use this kind of faux leather vinyl fabric for the dividers that are gonna be inside. And then I have a couple of stamps. These are wooden stamps that I also got on Etsy a while back. They're from India. And then I didn't have a white stamp pad. I couldn't get one out here. So I'm just gonna improvise and use my oil-based Sharpies. And then you'll need a cutting tool, so either an X-Acto knife or scissors. And then you can hand sew or you can use a sewing machine. I'm going to be hand sewing with this artificial sinew and then my regular craft needles. But you can use a sewing machine if you want. And you'll need a ruler and a pencil. We're going to start with making the wallet first. This is going to be my cash envelope system. So it's going to be super simple. It's just going to have two pockets. And right now I'm just measuring out how wide I want the wallet to be. So I want it to be seven and a half inches. So I'm marking it there. I'm just going to cut that out. And then for the pockets, it's going to have two pockets. And so I want those to be three inches. So I'm going to mark that and cut those out. So after you get done cutting, you'll have three pieces, two pockets that are three inches by seven and a half inches wide, and one back piece, which is seven and a half inches square. So here's how the pattern will look. And now we're gonna sew around the edges of both of the pockets. So when you go to make your first stitch, leave a tail of your thread or cord several inches long. And we're gonna come back to that later. That's gonna be for making a nice clean finish so we don't have to make any knots or anything. And then just continue sewing all the way around until you reach the other side. And after you've made the last stitch on that pocket, then just back stitch through those same holes about a half inch or so, and that's gonna lock in that thread. And once we finish back stitching, we're gonna just pull the needle through one of the holes into the inside of the pocket, and then just cut that extra thread. And then we'll move to the other side and repeat on that side. So that's why we left that extra tail on that side. So just thread your needle on there, back stitch about a half inch or so, pull the needle through to the inside, and then snip off the extra thread. And now repeat on the other side. And now you should have both pockets sewn on, and now we're ready to decorate. So one way to decorate your wallet is using stamps, and you could use a Versicolor uh, fabric stamp pad if you want. I couldn't get one of those out here. They are available on Amazon, but they wouldn't ship to me in Hawaii, so I'm just having to improvise. I'm using my oil-based Sharpie, and so I'm just getting a lot of the product on there, a lot of the Sharpie, and I think that should work out just fine. And then just go ahead and stamp your wallet. Or another option is to just freehand a design on your wallet. This wall is going to be my cash envelope system. So right now I'm just measuring out my divider. This is kind of my tester divider. So it's seven inches by about two and a half inches. So I'm just checking to make sure it's going to be the right size. And I'm going to go ahead and make more of them. So they're going to fit together in a set. So this is that vanilla colored kind of faux leather. And so I'm just tracing out that first piece that I made. And I'm just going to make the tab right next to that first one. So they're all going to fit together perfectly. And the tabs are going to be offset from each other. Thank you. 
After I finish tracing, I cut out my divider and then you can also round out those tabs, the little corners of them, just to give them a kind of cleaner finished look. And then they're all going to fit together like this, so the tabs are all offset. And then continue on and repeat until you have as many as you want. And now we're ready to label our tabs. So if you have a label maker, you can use that. Or if you want to print them out on your computer and tape them on that way. Or if you want to write them by hand. I'm writing mine by hand with my oil-based Sharpie in gold. Um, if you mess up with these, it's okay. You can take a little rubbing alcohol and wipe that away clean and start fresh. Once my labels are dry, I'm ready to put the dividers in my wallet, and so I have all the categories that I need to have a weekly or monthly cash allowance for, so there's not a lot of cash that's being kept in here, just small amounts, but I have it all separated by categories, so it keeps me on a tight budget, and it actually makes it really fun to budget, which I originally learned about this from watching Dave Ramsey and Rachel Cruz. I just realized that I left the back of the wallet blank and I want to stamp it on the back too. So I'm going to use my small lotus stamp and we'll just kind of stamp it off to the side, kind of give it a little tattoo there with the lotus stamp. I also made a smaller version which is made the exact same way and you could use it as a compact carrying case. You could have your mirror in here. Um, I'm going to put my compact in here and then like blotting papers. You could put your lipstick in here, whatever you want to organize. Or you could make one of these as a really cool notepad case. Next we'll make the license and card holders. So I'm using this clear vinyl that I got at the fabric store. And I'll combine that with the cork. So the pieces I cut out measure two and a half inches by four inches. And so we're just gonna sandwich those together. I'm gonna use a little clip just to kind of keep them stable and keep them sandwiched together while I'm sewing. And so I'll just poke the needle through just the same as we did before and just leave a tail of about, you know, several inches or so and just sew all the way around the perimeter and leave one side open and it's up to you if you want to leave a narrow side open or one of the wider sides. For the sewing part, we're just repeating exactly what we did with the wallet. So when you finish your last stitch, you're gonna back stitch through several of the holes, so about a half inch or so. And then to finish, you're just gonna pull the needle through to the inside. And then snip the extra thread and then repeat on the other side. I also decided to cut out a little thumb tab area, which is easier to do before you get started, but I just realized it after I was done. It's just easier to slide the cards out. And then I'm just gonna finish off with stamping it and we're done. So that is our license holder. I have my down to earth card in here right now and some other cards behind there, but you can store your debit cards behind your license there, really handy. And then also you can do business card holders. So this is just cork on both sides. And I made the opening on the top for this one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you like these projects. And if you do any of these, definitely tag me in social media because I would love to see what you guys make too. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you. Have an awesome day.